don't look on the floor there's nothing happening there Either you don't know the right thing to do or you don't want to do it i don't understand hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is busola or i am a youtuber based in lagos nigeria i film about diy fashion and lifestyle generally if this is your first time of stopping by on my youtube channel welcome kindly subscribe down below to become a part of this amazing family if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much for always stopping by on my channel uh today we are going to be speaking about five ethics or should we say five ways to excel in a virtual interview so if this sounds or looks like something you're interested in please sit back as we get right into the video as some of you already know that i work as a human resources manager uh, from time to time i conduct virtual interviews and i see the way some candidates show up for these interviews and i'm like is it that you don't know the right thing to do or you don't want to do it i don't understand okay so i don't want to assume that you know the right thing to do but you're not doing it that's why we're going to be trashing out these five things that are so important that recruiters watch out for when they schedule candidates for interview first thing i'll be speaking about today is dressing guys how dare you wear shimmy for a virtual interview are you okay are you normal <laughs> it's actually very strange it's very funny how you would see candidates show up for interviews with bonnet like bonnet uh with scarf the kind of scarf that we tie to bed just to put your hair together why would somebody show up for an interview wearing that it doesn't make sense the same way you're going to show up for a physical interview is the way i expect or we expect as recruiters to show up for virtual interviews i mean the moment we see you with shimmy i mean you know what shimmy is shimmy is lingerie <laughs> lingerie <laughs> shimmy is singlet on that wheel the same way you would show up for a physical interview dressing properly the same way you would wear your suit your gown your t-shirt it's the same way we expect that when we see you on a virtual interview we want to see you dressed like that and that's why we want your camera to be on but the moment we see you you're wearing shimmy you're wearing bonnet and i don't understand it shows that you are not really interested in that role or it shows that you're not how do i put it it shows that you don't take us seriously so the same way after every interview you would call your friends you would call your siblings parents to give them gist about the interview it's the same way we recruiters uh, give gist to our team members but in our case we don't call it gist we call it reports so yes after every interview there's an evaluation sheet and then we collate the report and then we present the management team for decision right and we always try to capture every details from that interview in the report the report is also going to capture how you are dressed so imagine your reports capturing that you were not properly dressed for the interview that's a minus it doesn't make sense that one is even basic it is given you're not supposed to be told to dress properly you have to do makeup do it why not when i have virtual interviews you'll find me setting up my ring light not because of anything i just want to come correct and that's it for me so that would lead me to my next point hey guys you have a virtual interview and then you're holding your phone i mean your camera with your hand <sighs> don't do that again never again so when you have a virtual interview i encourage you to use book as your own tripod stand or if you have a small tripod stand something like this hold on let me show you something or if you have something like this you can use it to hold your something like this you can use it to hold your phone so that it's going to be stable don't go don't attend your virtual interviews holding your phone like this and then you're doing like this when your hand is painting you you are changing the hand and then you are so disorganized no don't try it it doesn't show intentionality it doesn't show orderliness sometimes you hold your phone for too long and then the phone becomes really hot and you become uncomfortable you know what i'm saying so all of these things don't even determine whether or not you're going to get the offer but there'll be a report to that effect guys i also want you to take your background really seriously i am filming in front of a curtain now if you don't have a curtain maybe a plain background just make sure that your background is looking presentable 
don't go and stand in front of a rumpled rumpled and uh, what's it called now maybe rumpled cutting or guys the next thing i want you to pay attention to for your virtual interviews is your lighting don't go and back the source of light so take for instance you want to join a virtual interview in your house look for where your window is that means the ray of light will be coming from inside the window go and face down window don't back light no that's not how they do it the same way i'm setting up my ring light in front of me to shoot this video is the same way when you have your virtual interview so make sure the light is entering your face the light is needed on your face and not at your back do you understand that one i mean we've seen people join virtual interviews and they are back in light and then the whole of their back is so bright the ray of light from the back is not affecting the small light that is in front of your face so we can no longer see your face your front is very dark only your background that we can see no guys don't do it again when recruiters join virtual interviews and they see that they cannot see your face sometimes they don't even complain they will just leave you they will see that this one is not serious and even the one that is most disappointing is when you recruit for senior roles and you see all these things you're like ah, you're not a newbie in this business i mean you did not just start your career yesterday so as you grow in your career people would expect that all of these little little things are things that you get better on with time does that make sense so my next point is your posture your posture your body language so the same way you would go for a physical interview and then you will look right into your recruiter's face or faces if they're more than one right it's the same way we would expect you to have your virtual interview the virtual interview is meant to be like your physical interview to a be i mean if you ask me a virtual interview is even a bonus the fact that you're only with yourself and your camera the recruiter is not here with you yet so this is the best time to kill it the best time to show that they can trust you they can trust your words whatever it is you tell them they can believe you but when you are looking into the ground or you're looking up into the ceiling or you're looking to the left or you're looking to the right uh uh what are you looking for is your recruiter on the ceiling no look straight into the camera the same way i am having this conversation with you guys but i'm looking into the camera because i know you're not here with me physically we are going to get to see this video i'm going to look like you and i are having a conversation that's the same way you're supposed to have your virtual interviews just imagine the recruiter is your camera your lens so look into your lens have conversations with your lens don't look on the floor there's nothing happening there another one that sounds similar to that is your body language don't be rolling your eyes so some recruiters it may come off as oh she has attitude problem you may not even have attitude problem uh we also see some people attend virtual interviews with a sleepy look as if you're just waking up and you're yawning every second you're scratching your body yes maybe your body is scratching you but not that you'll be doing like this you can even do like this so my next point which is the last but not the least is to maintain a positive energy the same way you would enter that room and show yourself that they can trust you it's the same way you should show up for a virtual interview don't be talking to your recruiter as if you're just waking up from your sleep don't be talking like this don't be talking so swear, swear as if no you're not sure what you're saying personally i love when i interview people and i see and i feel a lot of energy I am not saying that candidate with energy is better than the one without energy. No, you know, we have different personality type. Yes, it's okay. But when you come for an interview, whatever it is, whatever word proceeds out of your mouth, it has to be convincing. They don't know you. You have to sell your market. Whatever it is that you tell them is what they are going to hire you based on. When I say sell, I'm not even talking about the things you tell them alone. You know, we're looking at your physical appearance. We're looking at the way you talk, your composure. You understand? Make sure that your energy is top notch. Don't be talking as if you're not sure of what you're saying or you're not convinced. So you have to show some confidence. Wear a lot of confidence on your face. I hope this video was helpful. So let's really have a quick recap. So the first thing I spoke about was dressing. I said that the same way you're going to show up for your physical interview is the same way we expect you as recruiters to show up for a virtual interview. Don't attend your virtual interviews wearing shimmy. Don't try it again. I also spoke about setup. I spoke about the fact that it is always better to arrange your phone such that it is stable. And you don't have to hold your phone with your hand while you're having a virtual interview it's going to distract you it's going to be stressful for you it's, 
it won't look professional i also spoke about lighting make sure light is entering your face and not your back you don't need light here you need it here so make sure you're not backing the source of light in the room make sure that your background is orderly you can use cotton like this or you can use a plain background just make sure your background is representing you well <laughs> maybe i should say it that way so i spoke about posture the fact that you should communicate with your camera not with the floor not with the ceiling not to your right or to your left be focused speak convincingly your recruiter and because your recruiter is not with you remember it's a virtual interview so look into your lens i mean the lens of your camera the lens of your phone speak as if you're having a conversation physically with your recruiter the last but not the least i spoke about maintaining a positive energy show that everything you're saying you mean it and you will deliver on the job proof to them with the words of your mouth and with your energy with your vibe that you are the best fit for that role you are the right fit for that role i hope this was helpful let me know what you think in the comment section guys am i saying too much am i asking or are we asking for too much let me know down below so yes we have come to the end of today's video if this video was helpful say it in the comment section thank you very much guys for watching till this very moment i love it so much guys and i want you to excel and that's why i'll be doing more of these videos if there's anything you want me to film about okay you can also drop it in the comment section. I will read them and I will work towards um, filming such content. Thank you very much once again for joining till this very moment, for watching till this very moment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Inspiration come, inspiration come, inspiration come.